Matt Sampson here with meteorologist Nick Wilchin. Nick, were there any particular ingredients that came together to make Super Typhoon Haiyan so devastating? Well, the wind speeds, which were estimated as high as 195 miles per hour, were the result of the classic ingredients that tend to go into any super powerful typhoon or hurricane. You have very warm sea surface temperatures in the ocean, and you have very little wind shear in the upper atmosphere. So thunderstorms get going, they're able to organize into that circular pattern that we're so familiar with. And in this case, they were able to do so to spectacular effect with some of the highest wind speeds you can get in a typhoon. So why did we see so much destruction? Well, most typhoons that strike the Philippines strike the northern part of the Philippines, and they've learned over the years not to settle the east coast of Luzon, that large northern island, because it's so typhoon prone. This typhoon, Haiyan, was unusually far south. They went through the central Philippines instead. They don't normally get such powerful hurricanes there, and so they've built up communities that face the eastern shores. Those are storm surge vulnerable communities, and in this case, the devastation was magnified by the fact that the cities were built in areas that aren't accustomed to seeing such large storm surges.